Hi guys, Marcelina here at CashewGreens.com. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this video would help you. You will be uh, introduced to this different propagator that I have used here in my garden. So like let's get started. There are four easy ways to propagate plants from cuttings and the purpose of this video is to introduce you to a different propagator that I have used here in my garden for years so you can apply this method and have a successful growing. Now the first system I use here is the dome tree or mini greenhouse. The second is the rain tower or aeroponics gardening. The third is the misting box where I clone plants under the misting system and then the fourth one is the fog machine. Now let's talk about the mini greenhouse. As you can see here on the video, I have a tray that comes with the kit. Inside the kit is the GP plug and I have the Clonix clone solution and in this packet you can clone 50 cuttings. So that is great about having this kit and I add the link below on this video. So you just click the link if you need this product. Now you add a warm water on the tray and soak your GP plug within 60 seconds or minutes. And in, when it expands, you just squeeze uh, excess water here. And here there is a hole, you just reinforce the hole and insert your cutting. You add your solution uh, in the tray because this one helps stimulate the root faster. Now you cover your tray and put this on the top of the heating mat and control your mat with uh, the temperature of 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the normal temperature for the cuttings to root. So let's move on to the second propagator. This is the rain tower or aeroponics gardening. I use this system to propagate seeds and also pro through cutting with this system because there is a continuous supply of water and also there is an optimum exchange of water and air in this system. So my plants or my cuttings don't go into drought. And as you can see here, I will focus the camera. What I grow here is the bok choy. So bok choy loves aeroponics. So as you can see this bok choy is very healthy and look at the root. So they're happy with this system. And I put the clonix solution in the, the uh, pump. So the pump would distribute that solution, uh, water solution to all my cuttings, allowing my cuttings to root faster. So, this is so the third propagator that I use here in my garden is the misting misting and the mister just went off as you can see the avocado leaves there's a water here and the avocado I propagate the avocado from seeds and it seems like they're happy here in the in the tree so uh, in every 15 in every hour you have to set your sprinkler 15 seconds in every hour you have to do it in the morning and then shut that off in at night you don't want your misting to to mess during the night and the controller you set your controller 15 minutes uh, 15 seconds per hour so that is the normal setup and then when your cutting is chewing some roots then you have to minimize the sprinkler because you don't want to continuously uh, make that mister longer you don't want to rot your root, so you have to minimize the delivery of the water. As you can see here, I also propagate the uh, hibiscus. And uh, I have a lot of cuttings that I already put in the pots. So this is just the few of the cuttings that I keep here in the greenhouse. So uh, the next uh, fourth propagator, let's go, uh, uh, let's go see the uh, fog machine. So this is the last propagator that I use here in my garden to clone the plants and this is the fog machine. You need to have two fog machines for, for, for your cuttings to get all the water and distribute that particles. And you just put the uh, lid on the top and then you put your cuttings on the insert and use this insert. And I will show you more about the details of how to propagate your plants using the fog machine but for this time I just want to show you the last propagator that I use here in my garden so you can apply this method 
and i hope this video would help you guys and if you like this video subscribe below give me more likes and share the love to all your friends especially friends who enjoy gardening thank you and see you in the next video bye bye